This video intends to show users how to collect and generate reports on all of the materials used within a project, with a look at how the user can set prices for their cost reports. Producing the bill of materials is a relatively simple two-step process. The first step is to collect all of the materials within a given project. This is achieved via the Collect Materials command in the Output tab of the ribbon. Next, the user can choose which active drawing model pairs the materials are collected from. In this example, the All button will be pressed to quickly select all active modelling pairs. BD will then collect all of the materials used within the project, collating them into the Collected Materials database. This database contains all of the information for the materials, and this information will vary depending on the material type. There is also an option to see where a material is used within the 3D model. To do this, highlight the piece you want to find and click the trace button. The piece will be highlighted green in the model. Confirm to go back to the database. The database can be closed by clicking OK, but if further materials are added to the project, then the Collect Materials command will need to be run again. However, should the user just wish to access the Collected Materials database again without updating, then this can be accessed from the Output tab. The next step is to generate the report itself. Again, found in the Outputs tab, go to the Reports command. The Output Format window will open with a list of available reports, which will depend on your customization, as further reports can also be developed and added here. There are various different report types, ranging from costing reports, cutting lists and summary lists. Many also have the option of outputting in Excel format rather than the standard text file output. Simply choose the report to use. BD will then run a query on the Collected Materials database based on whatever conditions are specified by that particular report type. A new Collected Materials database displaying the queried information will then be shown. Now click OK and this information is then collated into the report. Reports will be automatically saved into the root directory of the project if an Excel report or into the reports folder if a text report. When using the cost estimate reports, it may be necessary to adjust the prices of materials to suit the current costs or the local market. This can be done via the material register, found in the bond menu in the system tab of the ribbon. Price can also be altered per material type in the prices tab. This concludes our tutorial on reporting. Thank you for watching.